So do you remember those border teeter totters that were installed near Sunland Park, New Mexico back in 2019? Well, one of these pink teeter totters is now in a different location, but still within the land of enchantment. Yeah, its new home is at the Albuquerque Museum and it's part of their permanent collection. Our Spencer Schott stopped by the museum today to talk about how this new exhibit is contributing to the larger conversation that surrounds America's southern border. <laughs> it was a guerrilla art installation that got international attention. He tried working with Homeland Security and other government agencies to officially install it. When he got no response, he took it upon himself to install it uh, temporarily. Um, as you can imagine, it was uh, shut down and removed uh, quite quickly uh, by Border Patrol. The three teeter-totters have now found new homes all across the U.S., including right here at the Albuquerque Museum. But the new display doesn't have the same interactive quality it used to. If we uh, could, we would have this wide out and open uh, in the middle of the gallery so that everyone could ride it themselves. You can imagine the issues with that. Um, and so we had to install it safely and securely. While these teeter totters can no longer be used by kids at the border, the conversation this art installation started is still going. This is not just a you know, one and done sort of situation for us. This is a deep engaged and continuing involvement with the issues at the border. Uh, we have an upcoming exhibition in October that is called um, Puertas Fronterizas or border doors. That exhibit will highlight the work of students who have painted doors here in Albuquerque, focusing on the transitional space that borders are and the larger debate around immigration. It really adds an element of humanity, sensitivity, play, and, um, you know, in many cases, really difficult stories as well about separation of families and how these ideas and these works can begin to repair some of those wounds. Border doors will be on display this October. Spencer Schott, KOB4.